It is actually finally November on the vlogs. <laughs> finally. <laughs> it's been that way for a couple weeks. So it's been a while since we've actually been on camera. In fact, I think the last time was actually when we did chicken processing, right? So that was about three weeks ago and feeling a little under the weather. In fact, both of us, for the first time in 27 years being together, we were sick at the same time this week. I think it's one of those situations where we completely wore ourselves out and that just kills your immune system. And we paid the price. So we've actually gotten some rain pretty consistent again here, right? Over the last couple of weeks. So that was kind of cool. You actually got some hail. Yes, it was coming down hard. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it kind of coated, almost looked like snow yeah. on the ground. It was the... piling it up along the um, the end caps and stuff, starting to pile up. Nice, and the uh, pigs didn't seem to care. No. They are still wandering no. around, mm -hmm. <laughs> having a good time. How much rain did we finally end up getting in that one storm? I think it was only like an eighth of an inch. Oh. It wasn't much. Okay, so not much at all. No. So one of the things that we've been harvesting pretty consistently over the last month or more has been loofah, yeah. right? And <laughs> I think it's starting to slow down as far as drying out though. It does seem that way. I was looking at some this morning that was in the old sorghum patch. 
against the fence, and they are just massive, but they're huge, they're huge but they're staying green. <laughs> they're just not drying, so I don't know. I guess we could use them as a club. <laughs> Got a good shot this morning of the sugar cane. But man, that stuff just did fantastic over the summer, didn't it? Went crazy. Went nuts. We had, I think, was it three or four little four. tiny mm -hmm. two or three segment pieces of sugar cane that we put in the ground and now we've got this big massive bush that's over there. What's gonna be cool about that, I think we'll have to use it for a little bit of livestock fodder. Maybe for the pigs? Yeah. Ooh, I think they would like that. Yeah. We have a few things that are wrapping up as far as harvesting is concerned. Biggest thing from a harvest standpoint is gonna be our turkeys. That's gonna be happening next weekend. We have pickups happening on Sunday for that. And it's been kind of cool to see what we've been able to do with our Thanksgiving turkeys, having done it for the first time. Yeah. <laughs> This is the first time we've raised turkeys for Thanksgiving. This is one of actually the smaller birds. So one of the Jennies and she's heavy. I'm guessing she's probably a good 25 pounds, maybe more uh, here with, as a live weight. One of the things that's great about these is they actually are pretty darn friendly and they'll come up to us when we're coming to walk into the enclosure and they stay with us the whole time. So whether we have feet or not, I'm good put this girl back down because she's heavy. The breed that we chose to raise is the broad-breasted white. We have raised heritage breed turkeys. Uh, we weren't happy with the size or the shape of the carcass, so we wanted to do these guys here. I'll tell you, they've actually done amazingly well on the desert pasture that we have here on the farm. We weren't too sure when we started whether or not we were gonna try to start some type of grass, but the sorghum grew fantastic over the summer. They have been devouring this grass. In fact, they got a shot of it. You can see they're consuming the sorghum right up to about their height and completely keeping everything trimmed for us, basically from oh, about this tall down. We brought these birds in in July and we put them on the pasture, I believe it was late August. So they've been out on pasture here for nearly three months. So by the time you guys are seeing this, which should be next weekend, it's probably gonna be the pickup day for these guys. I can tell you for Lori and I, having had them here on the farm now, especially having them be as friendly as they are, next weekend's gonna be a little bittersweet. But at the same time, it is Thanksgiving. <laughs> and so we're really looking forward to the end result.
One of the things that happened here about a week or two ago is we had a, that strong storm come through, really hard winds, and knocked over one of our Jerusalem artichokes. Actually, there was a second one that you saw us just harvesting now that was partially knocked over. Martin, just want to thank you again for gifting us with these here in the spring. They grew really well all summer long. Now that we're here in the fall and we have things like our pigs that can help us with eating these, we're gonna go ahead and take a quick harvest of this one and the one that got knocked over. And then of course, we need to leave a few in the ground here to make sure that we have plenty of these come, well, next fall. I'm exhausted. <laughs> we need to not push it. We got a long weekend next weekend with the turkeys, but one of the things that we have right now is we don't have our chickens on pasture because we're establishing the winter pasture still. And it's actually coming along pretty good. We finally yeah. saw the ryegrass coming up this week. Yeah, right? it's doing really good. It's doing good. And also looks like the alfalfa is coming up really good as well. Citrus is finally starting to turn <laughs> color, right? One of the great parts about being here in Arizona and having the ability to harvest fruit year round is because we have citrus. So we'll be harvesting that here really for the next several months. Nice. Getting us through the winter time. Yeah. Extra vitamin C in case we get sick. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not do that, okay? So just want to thank you guys for joining us today. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. We cover a lot of things here on this newly established functioning farm in the Arizona desert and would love to see on a regular basis. If you have any questions or comments, those go in the comment section down below and our Amazon shop, especially right now in this time of year. Right. We'll leave a link down in the description. That is a free painless way to help support the channel. If you start with the link down below, it doesn't matter what you buy, you help to support us here. So just wanna thank you for joining us today and remind you if we can farm on the edge of nowhere. So can you! Who is that? I don't know. Shh. There's someone at the front of the property talking about all of our fruit trees. <laughs> Don't tell anybody we're here. <laughs> they sound pretty excited about the trees. Do we walk up there? I don't know. Oh, somebody, somebody's talking to him who knows us. All right, that must be a neighbor. We should probably, oh wait, we're sick though. Should we go say hi when we're sick? Did they make it weird? <laughs> These days it's weird when you're sick. Maybe I should walk by and at least wave. Yeah, that's probably right, a good come idea. On. Okay, we'll be friendly. Is it weird that I'm checking the breast meat? <laughs> I really wish I could grab one of these toms, but I'll probably get my butt kicked. I have this thing between us. I don't take it personal. If that's between us? I'm not intimidated by it. Not at all? No. You don't think so? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's what she said. 